the breadth of experience that can be delivered to an audience through film is almost limitless. It can take you into worlds that you could never step into. We can create whatever worlds we want to, to transport the audience into lands and realms where they've never been. What inspired me to become a director, a storyteller, um, and, you know, a filmmaker, was the, I saw the absolute need to build bridges of understanding between cultures, our culture as African Americans, the dominant white culture in America, the world at large, and really tell stories that I felt other people needed to hear to have a better understanding of who we were. Um, and, and that was the driving force in my wanting to do um, what I uh, luckily wound up being able to do. When I did Car Wash, uh, it was invited to the Moscow Film Festival. And this was before the, the Iron Curtain came down, 19, mid-80s maybe, uh, early 80s. And uh, so they invited my wife um, and me to the festival, and Moscow was really this huge, gray, cavernous city that we still had uh, keepers that uh, would follow us around, you know, um, or uh, be afraid to take us into certain places like some of the Coptic churches that we wanted to go see. They were deathly afraid that they'd be excommunicated from the Communist Party if, if they were seen near a church, you know. Uh, but the thing that was mind-blowing to us was that the Russian people were avid filmgoers, and they showed car wash in a theater that sat 2,500 people in, on this enormous screen, and they had the interpreter on a microphone interpreting all the characters' dialogue <laughs> as the film was going on. Uh, but it was the largest film festival that I had ever seen with films from Vietnam, from Japan, from Cambodia, from all of these uh, countries that never got exposure in the States. And seeing the lines of Russians standing outside the theater, just, just hungering for exposure to other uh, cultures and stories was really inspiring, you know. And I, I, I saw the power of cinema uh, in a place where you'd never expected it, you know. A lot of the other arts uh, impacted my work, especially music. I mean, I was an avid, as a teenager, an avid jazz buff. Um, and since my father uh, was a trumpet player and I had uncles and cousins who also played in the big bands, I was fascinated with um, music from an early age. Um, and the, the art world, because we didn't uh, really have much more than school trips to museums and stuff like that, uh, never really was a part of my early childhood. But um, I, I got into painters, and I loved, actually, 
to paint myself. So when I was struggling, trying to get, you know, my first gig as a director in theater, I would take the time where I wasn't working and buy oils and, and just paint or draw uh, as a, a way to keep myself busy and, and my creative energies going. And uh, I never thought much of myself as a painter, but other people uh, still have held on to things that I did when I was 20, 19, you know. Each film that I do, or that I have done, deals with a different theme or subject matter and, and whatever, and I try to choose material that kind of enlightens people um, about a situation or about a group of, of individuals um, that touches them, that makes them laugh, that, that uh, kind of loosens them up and realize that those people they're seeing on screen are just like themselves, you know. Um, and th what I hope that people take away from my films is a sense of, of joy, of optimism about the world that we live in and where we're going as a, as a people, uh, and uh, inspiration. Always strive to tell the truth because in telling your truth, that is the most direct way to connect other people to who you are and who your story, what your story is. And more than all the make-believe in the world, the truth that emerges from your story is what touches people. I, I am so uh, thankful and, and grateful that um, the president of this university um, has the, the foresight uh, and the uh, vision to really put an emphasis on uh, archiving, restoring um, films from the past and saving um, those incredible artistic uh, creations for future generations. Uh, the one thing, I mean, I'm a theater person by heart, and I love the theater, but when the theater is done, it's gone. It's, it's uh, ephemeral. The great thing about film, and I guess the work that I've done in the film kind of attests to that, is what I did 40 years ago still resonates with people, younger people today. And so the ability to hold on to that artistic creativity is vital. I think it's critically important um, that a university uh, has a cinema department, a theater department, a music department, an art department, uh, a dance department. Um, the, the arts are so critically important to the development of a well-rounded human being um, that if you don't feed that part of the student, you are turning out a slightly damaged individual, no matter how smart they are. If they don't have compassion, if they don't, uh, if they're not able to relate to other people and realize that we're all part of the same ecosystem, and um, that's what the arts do. Science does it to a degree, but the arts hit you in the heart, uh, the go beyond your intellect. Um, and when the education system started minimizing the arts, uh, 
we kind of knew that it was leading us on a road to really kids, individuals, all of us being harmed in a, in a major way. 